name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My adorable Jesus, may our feet journey together. May our hands gather in unity. May our hearts beat in unison. May our souls be in harmony. May our thoughts be as one. May our ears listen to the silence together. May our glances profoundly penetrate each other. May our lips pray together to gain mercy from the Eternal Father. Amen. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, beloved, would you please say this holy prayer after me, line by line? My adorable Jesus, may our feet journey together. May our hands gather in unity. May our hearts beat in unison. May our souls be in harmony. May our thoughts be as one. May our ears listen to the silence together. May our glances profoundly penetrate each other. May our lips pray together to gain mercy from the Eternal Father. Amen. And here's an ancient prayer. You know this one, you can say it with me. It's called the Anima Christi. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O oh, good Jesus, within thy wounds, suffer me not. From the malignant enemy in the hour of my death, and bid me come to thee, that with thy angels and thy saints I may praise thee forever and ever. Amen. Now we learned another new prayer earlier today. It's only one line. And I want to explain to you how powerful that prayer is. It's called the blood of Jesus. So Lord Jesus, with your permission, I'm going to stand and speak to your sons and daughters. We're going to pray this prayer together. Then we're going to have a healing service. Can you feel the Holy Spirit? He's all over us right now. Much healing, beloved, is hindered by the presence of evil spirits. We're going to now cast them away for you and I. So I promise to tell you a story tonight, quickly, about this prayer. It's only one line. It's only 12 words. Most precious blood of Jesus Christ, save us and the whole world. Most precious blood of Jesus Christ, save us and the whole world. Most precious blood of Jesus Christ. Now, we're going to pray it again in just a minute or two. I was preaching in Texas some years ago. My little brother is a priest, and he asked me to do a healing mass at his parish, so I did. While I was there, the housekeeper came up to me and said, Father, could you please pray over my sister for her healing? She's a beautiful old Housekeeper, she's like 85 years old. She's been taking care of my brother's rectory for like 25 years. I said, well, sure, bring her to the healing service tonight. She said, oh, Father, she can't get out of bed. Said, oh, where does she live? She said, well, Father, she doesn't live here. She lives in another city an hour away. I said, oh, well, I don't have time. I, I want to pray over her, but I don't have time to drive an hour away. Come back another hour. I already had a 100 appointments, literally 100 appointments scheduled, besides the healing mass. But I said to her, does your sister have a telephone? 
because I know what telephones are for. Cell phones are not for sin. Cell phones are for the gospel. Amen? Does she have a telephone? Yes. Why don't you get her on the line for me? So she called her sister, and I asked her, what is her condition? And it's very serious. I thought she would say multiple sclerosis, you know what I mean, or cancer. Do you know what she said to me? I was a little bit surprised. She said to me, Father, my sister has depression. Severe depression. Now I see it all over the world, even among the teenagers. Depression is one of the worst sicknesses that you can have. It keeps you from doing anything. It's part of Satan's end times strategy is to make the church depressed. We should be the most joyful of people. We should not be sad and miserable. Amen? The Jesus on the altar is the joyful Jesus. He's not sad. He's happy. We're going to pray tonight as I pray over you for the healing of joy. I'm going to ask God to give everyone here supernatural joy. Do you know what St. Teresa of Avila said? Teresa of Avila said, God, spare the church one more prune-faced saint. Spare the church one more grouchy saint. Spare the church. Amen? This poor lady was depressed. She had severe psychiatric depression. That's serious. I was surprised. I didn't realize that's what she was suffering with. I said, how long has she had it? She's, she's dialing her on the phone. She said, five years. She says, Father, she's been in bed the last year and a half. She can't get out of bed. That's serious. Amen? Put her on the phone with me. I said, hello, Lupe. Her name was Guadalupe. We just call her Lupe. And she could barely speak. She said to me, hello, Father. I said, Lupe, I'm going to teach you a new prayer. Is that okay? Okay, Father. She had been in bed for a year and a half, had not left her bedroom in a year and a half. She was on psychotropic medications, huge pills. They don't always work too well. And so I said, I'm going to teach you a prayer. We'll ask God to heal you. Okay. So I said, now, Lupe, I'm going to say the first half of the prayer, and you're going to answer. I'm going to say, most precious blood of Jesus, the blood of God that was shed for your salvation. The blood of the God-man is all-powerful. Amen? He alone has power. We're going to plead the blood over you. Yes, Father. So I said, most precious blood of Jesus Christ. And she answered, save us and the whole world. And I said it, we're going to say it ten times, I said to her, so that you and I do it now, just like I did with Lupe on the phone. And I'll tell you what happened. So right now, ten times in a row, for anyone here who's suffering depression or sadness, it's probably half of us. Are you ready? Most precious blood of... Now you answer me. I'm going to say the first half and you answer. Most precious blood of Jesus Christ. Most precious blood of Jesus Christ. Now I can hear your voices. You sound good, but you don't have enough faith. I can tell by your voice. We have to pray with faith. What did Job say? I know my Redeemer lives. I know he lives, and he loves me. Amen? We pray it now with godly faith. Are you ready? Answer with faith. Most precious blood of Jesus Christ. 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 That's what I did with Lupe on the phone ten times in a row. And after number ten, this is what I heard on the other end of the phone. Father! Lupe? Father! She says, I feel 
feel fire all over my body. And I said, good, that's the Holy Spirit. Let's do ten more. How did we come down at Pentecost? Fire. Fire, fire, fire. Amen? She felt fire all over her body and her voice was completely different. She yelled at me. I said, well, good, we paid ten more. So we did ten more in a row, and I'll tell you what happened. Are you ready? Okay, there's ten more now for everyone here and for your family members. They may not be here, but you're connected with them spiritually. This is for your family members to be freed of all the depression and sadness and anger. Amen? Ten more times. I'll say the first half, if you would answer, remember the blood is here on the altar. So we direct our prayers to the Savior. Most precious blood of Jesus Christ. Most precious blood of Jesus Christ. Most precious blood of Jesus Christ. Now say it with faith now. Say it with faith from the bottom of your heart. Most precious blood of Jesus Christ. 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 Amen. When I finished with Lupe, the second ten, this is what I heard on the phone. Father! I feel electricity up and down my body. And I said, I know you do. You've just been set free. She's been healed of depression since that time, more than 15 years ago, from that very day. And not to belabor the point, but I'm going to tell you one more part of this story. Is that okay? Do you have your seatbelts on? Okay, put them on. This is the part I don't always tell. But the Lord says, my Irish people, they can handle this one. Okay, this is a true story. So on that second set of ten, when I led them with Lupe, I was suddenly transported from my body to her house. She was an hour away. I was brought into her room. They call that like by location, <laughs> into her room. And I was actually in the air, in her bedroom, looking down at her in the bed. She had the phone in her hand. She couldn't see me, but I could see her. I was in the air leading her, but she couldn't see me. It's kind of fun to be a charismatic priest. I have more fun than anybody. So she can't see me, but I can see her. And I'm leading her those second ten. And I realized after one second why God brought me there. I can't do that. I'm not Superman. God is Superman. If you're looking for a superhero, look for Jesus. Amen? Don't look to me. I'm just a little helper. He's the superhero. Amen? He's Wonder Counselor, God, Hero, Father forever. Amen? He's the superhero, not me. Jesus is. If he's Batman, then I'm Robin. Amen? He's awesome and he's beautiful. I didn't do that. God did it. And I now I know why. Because when I said, most precious blood of Jesus Christ, and she answered me, I looked at her bed. She was under the cover with the phone. At the foot of her bed was a creature. A tall creature. He was gruesome. He was wearing a gray robe with a hood. He was demonic. And he was standing at the foot of her bed. Now I know why God brought me there. And he had his hands in his sleeves. And he was rocking back and forth. Like doing a satanic chant. The Lord said to me, this is the curse that was placed on her. Somebody in the community put a curse on this woman five years previous. This demon came as a result of that curse. He was standing there rocking. You couldn't really see his face. It was all black. It was awful, actually. But as we said that ten times in a row, the second ten, when we got to number ten, and I said, most precious blood of Jesus Christ, and she answered, 
save us in the whole world. At that precise moment, that demon was pulled out of the room. Like a vacuum cleaner sucked him out. And when he went out through the roof, he was gone. That's what she shouted to me. Father, I feel electricity. And I said, I bet you do. I never told her what I just told you. Of course she felt electricity. God gave her a major deliverance. Amen. The Lord says that's available for Dublin. That's available, he says, for my sons and daughters in Dublin. It's not only for Texas, it's for every city and nation in the world. So I'm going to share that with you. This is a gift from heaven, the blood of Jesus prayer. And you know, if everyone here prayed it every day a lot, what did Mother Mary recommend? 500. I do it every single morning of the year, whatever country I'm in. I use my rosary beads and I say it around the rosary 10 times. No demon has a chance. No chance. If you say it every day faithfully, we need, beloved, like a prayer campaign, so to speak, we need to get this prayer out to everyone in Dublin, the drug dealers and the prostitutes and those in corruption and all the sexual perversion doesn't have a chance. It will go away. This prayer is all-powerful because it's the blood of the all-powerful God. Amen. You now each owe me two million dollars. What I share with you is incredibly valuable. You owe me two million dollars now. But I'll accept one decade of the rosary in its place. Is that okay? Just pray a decade for me and we'll call it even. Hallelujah. So we're going to say it ten more times now for cancer. I've noticed this prayer heals just about everything. So now 10 times over from anybody here or in your family who's suffering with any form of cancer. Are you ready? I can feel the healing spirit coming over me right now. Most precious blood of Jesus Christ. 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 Amen. Now, we'll do 10 more for any spiritual illness that is here today. What do I mean by that? I mean, for instance, if you're suffering with a lack of faith. We ask God to heal the faith of Dublin. A man cannot be saved without faith. Without faith, man cannot please God. We're going to pray for the healing of your faith. That's a real healing. It's more important than cancer. For the healing of your faith, your Catholic faith. Amen? This next thing is for spiritual healing of faith, hope, and love in each of our hearts. We're not going to walk around lukewarm or mediocre. We're going to walk around like saints with a fire in our heart. Amen? Now, for the healing, faith, hope, and love, would you extend your right hand towards Jesus in the Eucharist? Because that's where the blood is. It's in the host. I've seen the host bleed twice. It's, the blood is there. That's why this is red here. It's for the blood of Jesus. Now, for the healing of faith, hope, and love, and maybe the healing of humility. Maybe I'm too prideful. May God heal my pride and give me humility. Amen? Maybe I'm too angry all the time. May God heal our anger and make us more gentle. Amen? Now, for all of these spiritual gifts, most precious blood of Jesus Christ, most precious blood of Jesus Christ. 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 
most precious blood of Jesus Christ. Most precious blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now the Lord says we have to forgive before we can be healed. If there's anybody you have not forgiven in your life, we need to forgive them tonight. How can God heal me when I hate my own brother? So we're going to pray ten more that God will give you and I the grace to forgive. Maybe it's our own spouse or son or daughter. Maybe our dad or mom. Might be somebody close to us. Maybe it's a priest or a nun. We have to forgive those who hurt us. Amen? Would you say this after me, beloved? Say, Jesus, I love you. Jesus, you are beautiful. Jesus, you forgave me. Jesus, I want to forgive. Tonight, O Lord, I hereby forgive. My own family members and anyone who's ever hurt me in any way. Oh, the Lord says to forgive the enemies of your nation. You said it to me twice. I don't know who they are. I have a feeling I know who they are. But let's, let's pray for the to forgive the enemies of Ireland. You know what I'm trying to say? We say, Jesus, we hereby forgive all of our national enemies any other nation any other entity that has hurt or oppressed Ireland in any way we hereby forgive them and we bless them in your holy name amen hallelujah Praise the Lord. Now the Lord says there's division in the church. One obvious one is Catholics and Protestants. We're going to pray now for the Protestants and the Catholics to love each other and come together as one church again soon. Amen. Are you ready? The next 10 of the blood are going to drive away any spirit of division in the churches. That the churches come together again as one true, holy, humble church. Amen. Friends, would you lead the first half? You're going to say, most precious blood of Jesus Christ. And I'm going to answer you ten times in a row for the healing of all division of the church in Ireland. Are you ready? All together, most. Save us and the whole world. 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 Teach us how to count. It's a special mathematical blessing. Amen. Now, one more set before we start the healing. And for the healing, I'm going to go down there with you, with my brother priest. And I'll have you touch the relics. I'm going to bless you with oil. But you have to promise me you won't talk to me. Or I'm not going to do it. You have to promise me you won't talk to me at all because we have well more than a thousand people. We have to get you right on through. I want you to touch the robe of Padre Pio. I'm going to take it out of the package. I want you to touch the relic of the two cross. And I want to put oil on your forehead. You can't talk. We've got to keep moving because I have to get you out of here at just the right time. Okay? You don't need to talk to me. Talk to my boss. Amen? Talk to the boss. He's the one that knows. We'll do one more set of ten because this is something amazing. The blood of Jesus breaks all curses and addictions. For anyone here tonight, if you're addicted to alcohol, don't make excuses for it. Say, well, I'm Irish. I can drink all the beer I want. Well, that's what they say in hell, too. 
So don't do that. We need to be healed of any addiction of, to alcohol, marijuana, drugs, pornography, or anything else. This prayer, I'm telling you, breaks addictions. Amen? Oh, boy, I see some mean demons staring at me right now. And some of you, they're mean ones. Not you, but the demons. They're ugly. Those addictive demons are strong like gorillas. They're big like gorillas, and they're evil. Oh, baby, I'm getting the anointing right now. We're going to pray it ten times in a row. I want to encourage you to use this prayer mightily. This is not the time for wimps and wussies. This is the time for saints. Amen? I'm going to challenge you to become men and women of prayer. Become men and women of prayer. Now is the time for Ireland to rise up and become the saintly nation you were meant to be. Amen? No compromise, no mediocrity, no lukewarmness. We must pray. Did you know this? Maybe no one ever taught you this. You have to pray for the gift of prayer. You actually pray for the gift to pray. Did you know that? You pray for the gift to pray well. Amen? Pray for that gift. You start becoming saints. You can't be saved without prayer, so you pray for the gift to pray. Amen? Hallelujah. One Hail Mary now that Mary, the virgin, gives you her gift of prayer. Amen? One Hail Mary now, we got to start praying like Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Now, with the Virgin Mary, by the way, this prayer that we're doing, Most Precious Blood, was dictated by the Virgin Mary. You see, she's centered on Jesus, not on herself. Mary taught this prayer to Barnabas. When we say Mary, she says Jesus. When we say Mary, she says Jesus. She taught us this prayer. This is her prayer. She was there when the blood poured out. She was there. Ten times in a row now, for any addiction in the audience, in the congregation, I don't care what it is, that demon has to go. Amen? Are you ready? This is very powerful. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, ten times in a row, most precious blood of Jesus Christ, save us. Most precious blood of Jesus Christ, why don't we say the whole thing together now that you know it? Let's say all, all the words together, all of us, ten times in a row. Most precious blood of Jesus Christ, save us in the whole world. Most precious blood of Jesus Christ, save us in the whole world. Most precious blood of Jesus Christ, save us in the whole world. Most precious blood of Jesus Christ, save us in the whole world. Most precious blood of Jesus Christ, save us in the whole world. Most precious blood of Jesus Christ, save us in the whole world. Most precious blood of Jesus Christ, save us in the whole world. Most precious blood of Jesus Christ, save us in the whole world. Most precious blood of Jesus Christ, Save us and the whole world. Most precious blood of Jesus Christ, save us. I love you, Jesus. Bring me your healing tonight. May your name be exalted in my family, in Ireland, throughout the world, through Mary's intercession. Amen.